one is you have a unique situation, first generation business person, um, um, you're not leading an organization, you're in an organization, um, you're leading an organization by fire. Um, you're in an organization um, that's owned by your family, you are emerging leaders for the family business. Um, each has a different perspective. So, um, more can you talk a little bit about about your unique challenges as an emerging leader. Right? And again, we're doing this not because we want to keep reciting this stuff over, but, but again, for the leaders in the room, I think it's important that you understand the challenges, the hurdles that emerging leaders have to overcome so that you can help them navigate those challenges. Yes, um, thank you for asking that. And I would say the first thing that really comes to mind is not having or not being offered an opportunity because I don't have the experience. Um, you know, I get that outside and I get it internally with my own family. Um, so, you know, I was just speaking to a man, um, you know, outside and he was talking to me about, you know, that he's in the airport and they do all of this. And I asked him, well, do you all do food and beverage? And he mentioned no. And my response to him is like, well, you have to start somewhere. And so same with, you know, being an emerging leader, like, yes, I only have two years experience, but I don't want that to stop me from having an opportunity. Um, you know, I feel like I'd rather really fall on my face and get back up than not do it because you don't have the experience. Because when will I have the experience if I don't start doing it now? Um, I would say another one is, um, you know, as Lauren spoke, not only am I young and a woman and black, um, the industry does not look like me. Um, you know, our, we graduated from the ACBDE program in 1993, so, you know, we're competing against, you know, sharks. We're like fish sometimes in a shark tank. But, um, and, you know, even in my own company, so, you know, sometimes I feel like, you know, even giving suggestions or, making comments, it could be looked at like, you don't know, you know, you're, you, you, you're just learning, and I am learning. And sometimes it might be that I don't know, but um, sometimes I feel like it's not always about your experience. Sometimes it's your instinct and um, just common sense. Some things aren't, it doesn't take, it's not rocket science to get there, you know. Uh, I follow my instinct a lot, which I found out is, you know, that's a good trait that I have. Um, and I would say, you know, also people assume sometimes that I'm green and I'm using, you know, a word. I, that word really means not knowing. And I've noticed that that can play to my disadvantage. You know, people thinking, oh, she doesn't know. or But it also plays to my advantage at times. So for any of us emerging leaders that are out here, I think sometimes we should use that to our advantage where people will doubt us and we just have to outperform. We just have to, you know, it's like you have to grind the shine. So um, just doing it and showing that you can do it. And that might take, I know that might take more time, but um, it's worth it. So those are pretty much my struggles. And Lauren, I'm sure that you have some struggles yourself as an emerging leader.